What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Dropping Hits, and I'm back with another episode of 60 Days In, Season 6. Now, we're going to get into the video, which is, uh, what is it? Special Ops. Regular participants is over. Now, he brought in some other people, like undercover detectives and other COs. Should be interesting. We did watch this on my live stream, and it was, <laughs> it's going to be good. It's going to be good. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me remind you guys, I do stream on Twitch every Thursday. Love to see you guys there. Link is below in the description. And before we get into the video, I do want to give a shout out to Luke Skype Stalker, who sent me, <laughs> who sent me this uh, letter opener. I went to go check the mail at my P.O. box to see if I got any uh, mail, you know. And uh, I was surprised to get this. He, uh, he left a message and uh, he said, this is a letter opener for all the fan mail you'll be getting. It also doubles as a shank in case you need a ventilator, bitch. So, oh, this is great, man. Thank you very much. And uh, if any of you guys want to send me some fan mail or anything, P.O. Box is down below in the description. Sorry this video is a little late. I usually do these videos on the weekend, but this past weekend was my mom's service, so I took time to myself. And surrounded myself with family and friends. And uh, again, it's it's rough, but we're getting through it. And I appreciate all the support from you guys as well. I read all the comments and, and I'm very grateful. So thank you guys. Salute to each and every one of you. Huh, so now that we got all that out of the way, let's drop right into it. Since phase one, we've made a lot of drastic changes. Better fix them damn doors. The biggest change is all the locks have been fixed. There you go. Now we've installed the new locks, which actually have a, a light that indicates that the door is secure. So if this why did you need participants shut, to go undercover? To turn green to figure that out. Until I secure it back. Okay. That's what I don't get. Come on, guys. We've also placed a supervisor there in the intake area to store up booking. You should have bended Everyone all this. Gets a shower. Everyone squats and coughs. <clears throat> Everyone gets the full strip down treatment to ensure that we're not missing anything. We what kind of jail are you running? Happening on a regular basis, so uh, we're seeing to it now that it's happening 100% of the time. We've seen to it our correctional officers are better equipped. We're sending in four more law enforcement professionals for 30 days to test these changes and see how we can further improve our facility. Failure is not an option, so we're sending in the big guns. My name is Donovan. I'm a narcotics detective, and I've been a police officer for a little over 12 years. Taking bad guys off the street really gets my adrenaline going. My name's Heather. Currently, I am the commander of operations of a county jail. If someone were to attack me in jail, I would feel bad for them. My name oh. is Vanessa. I'm a firefighter, and I have eight it's years. And Catwoman glasses off. I do not there you take go. from anybody. My name is Mark. I'm a retired sergeant. I don't need out. to sugarcoat things. Uh, out. It's time for your. If there's a problem. I'm going to handle it. We're not looking for participants to just observe and report. We're looking for them to get their hands dirty, to get involved, and to show us where our problems are. I wonder how long it was in between phase one and now. I'm guessing a few months. Hi. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Mark. Oh, Heather. Nice to meet you. So where are you from? Utah. Oh. But yourself? Philadelphia. Oh, very nice. Awesome. I'm from Philly, I don't know. Hey. Hi. Hi. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, Mark? Donovan here, Mark. Nice, nice to meet you. you too. And there. I was alone hey, for a while. Hey, Heather, how, how are you? I'll do, I'm a hugger. Hey. All right, I'll take it. Well, they didn't tell me someone would have nicer hair than me, so <laughs> we might have All to right. do something oh, about was that. Was it me? <laughs> <laughs> you got a five head. You got to worry about that. Yeah. yeah. I think so, yeah. Hi. Hello. How are you, Mark? I'm, fine. I'm Vanessa. Nice to meet you. Vanessa, Heather. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Hey, Vanessa. Donovan here. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We've been kind of sitting here chilling and talking, and <laughs> when are they going to learn to stop having to meet each other? I watch the show. Please, thank you. Yeah, I actually, I'm kind of a little bit of a fan. How about you guys? 
the six days didn't actually start in the county out from Clark County. Started, oh, yeah. started oh, on really? jail. Our sheriff, mm-hmm. sheriff Jamie Noel. So like when it did come out and they did show the series, I was like. Man, you know, I was like, <laughs> I'd love to be involved in that. What's up? Why do you keep us in the sick kind of stuff? So, um, fast forward that uh, a few, a couple years later, the sheriff's like, Hey, remember what you said back then about being involved with six days? Then I'm like, Yeah. He's like, You ready to go? Good to see oh, you, you ready. Tony. Yes, sir. Good to see you. Good to see you. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What do you, as an individual, plan to do this time differently than you did the last time? <laughs> Um, well, Sheriff, you tell me you made changes. However, I'm going to verify that for myself. Um, every change that I brought to your attention, I'm going to pretty much call you out on it and make sure it's done. If it's not fixed or in, in, in uh, order. End up in jail for real, Tony. Be careful, man. <laughs> well, what? <laughs> <laughs> See, that's you Sheriff, man. He's a clown, man. Before. That's why we feel good about having you back. We welcome you and like for you to be the team captain or leader of this next phase. Thank you again, Tony. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, we don't expect you to ever have to tap out. That's not who we chose to do this. But God forbid you need to take that opportunity. Your physical sign will be this. We'll call it like praying hands, just methodically thinking of I need help. Okay? So, everybody together. What? God help me make it 30 days or this sheriff's gonna kick my ass. Oh, you made fun of Jen because she was all about that and then you're doing it. Come on, man. Come on, man. Like, if I, if I say, what you locked up for? Uh, what, what are you locked up for? Uh, I locked up for I got, I got a warrant. Okay, what's the warrant for? It was like threat of violence or something like that. Okay, yeah. So you want them to have to pull it out. You don't just volunteer information. You don't have to tell me anything. Right. However, you do want to lead people along to, to get them pretty much from your team. Right. What's your cover? What's your story? Man, it's just straight honestly. Mm-hmm. This assault charge. So? Yeah. Uh, you ever been down the road? Down the road? Yeah. Oh. You ever been to prison? No, oh, you must have never been locked up before. You ain't never done no time before, have you? I've been, I've, I've been held before. I ain't been, like, locked up. I ain't done no real time. Okay. All right. Yeah, everybody knows what down the road is. What you locked up for? For her? Man, I got me on some stuff going up north. We Death playing warrant. games. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, what, what they, uh, what they say you stealing? What, what are you stealing? Sure, man, it don't matter. I'm about to get quick, though. Yeah, you got a bond? Nah, I ain't got a bond yet, but I'm about to get out Talk of here. Talk to your lawyer? Nah, yet, man. My peeps get me out of here. You, do you got a lawyer? Nope. How long you been locked up? Man, I just got here. I mean, got here like to last here. week, got here? No, nah, I just got here today. Oh, 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 okay, okay, I understand. Tony, totally touch him. <laughs> get him, Tony. I got a warrant out of Philly. Philly. Okay, so why you here? Got pulled over. I didn't had an out to uh, the Alabama game. Yeah, so uh, what, what your charges is, though? What's this? Selling oxy. Selling oxy. Selling scripts. You were selling them? Yep. So who the wait, man? I'm trying, I'm trying to move some stuff myself. Yeah. Nah, what? Nah, I, I, I ain't saying nobody's name there. Okay. You ever heard of 60 Days In? Nah, what's up? You ain't never, all these cameras around here, you ain't never heard no 60 Days In. Nah, I'm not a TV guy. So I'm just trying to figure out what y'all folks got going on, man. No, you got nothing going on. You got the wrong guy. Okay. It ain't me. Okay, okay. Mark, honestly, he's the only one I'm concerned about. I think he's gonna become a target and possibly not be able to finish. I'm, I mean, I'm so, calling that too, though. The point that is this. You're not obligated to answer any of my questions. Right. However, just know if you don't answer certain questions, you're going to be looked at a certain way. You know what I mean? And I don't say this jokingly. I do see someone picking you out because you're sitting back with your hands crossed and you're looking like you're an easy target. If you come in and I see you just sitting there and then you go and buy $300 worth of store, either you're going to get to me or you're going to get beat up. Tony definitely underestimates me. I felt like I think we was all disrespectful. Do. You know, I am more than capable of handling myself. You don't have to like me. You don't uh, have to think looks anything can be deceiving. We the all know that. Day, I'll be the winner of whatever situation I'm put in. I'm, I'm going to be the pod boss. So don't neither one of y'all think y'all going to come in there and be the pod boss because that's not your role. I'm Damn, you Tony. That's <laughs> that's me. This man said I'm going to be the pod boss. Don't, don't you come in there. there. If I were him, going back a second time, I, you know, there could be somebody else different in there now. And it may not be as easy. That confidence could backfire and it'll look, you know, foolish. You're right about that. Danger. I don't know. When we get in there, you don't know me. I don't know you. 
I don't know where you're from. You don't know where I'm from. That's how we. That's how it's going to rock until you work your way inside my circle. That's how it's going to work. Phase one, I got shanks. I got drugs. Put your arms out for me. I did what I wanted to do. Second phase, buckle up. You made that a song. I got shanks. I got drugs. I did what I wanted to do. I don't know, y'all. <laughs> Make that, a, make that a song. One of the things that I'm looking to see has changed is intake. Well, they're patting you down now. I be, you best believe that. You bet. The pat down compared to last time was night and day. Yeah. He actually patted me down, like crotch, you know, socks, like winning my shoes. Like he, he, yeah, they figured it out. I mean, it's not complicated. They just didn't want to do the job. Lazy COs, man. That's all that was. After the pat down, they put me in the tank. I don't be doing that, man. So there's this older white guy, right? Why? Why would you be doing this? He started bragging and boasting about some money. He tell Tell me about to take that James. Apparently, he ain't never been to jail or been robbed. Mind you, I'm an inmate now. You know, survival of the fittest. I gotta eat, man. I gotta call my folks. I gotta get make store, use the phone. I ain't trying to spend my own money. I'm trying to test the COs in every opportunity they presented. Oh, he about to grab that. Look. If I wanted to take all his money, there was no one to stop me. It don't matter if you're old, white, black. CO's not. <laughs> That's the nature of the beast. Oh, man. And he gave it to him. What? <laughs> oh, man. No sooner than he gave me the 50. The CO oh, no, he gave me 50 dollars? Come on, he's gonna take the whole 1700. Well, shoot, I got to do what the CO say. But I ain't never seen it the way you keep your money. When they book you, but like they usually take it or put it on your book. Like, like this is the first time I've seen where you have your money on you. I don't. This time, intake is a thousand times better. They made me take a shower. I need to turn on SWAT call for me. They strip searched me, everything. Pick your sack up. All right, you know, the whole nine. Thank in my book, it was 100% correct. Well, I'll definitely get him my A+. Plus. They, they figured it out. They should have had it right the first time, though. She was like, hey, you know, can't take no money to the pod. Put the rest on the uh, machine. So I put 50 bucks on my books. Uh, you going to have to get that bad today. Come on, don't do them right like now, that, man. I got to do what inmates do. Yeah, so I got y'all. Yeah, appreciate you. Unit four? No, they don't have females in the main unit. Oh, Tony. You're not going to be able to. No. No. I got you smiling, though. Look at you. Look at you. Look at Tony. That's Tony Wilding. Oh, she was digging it, though. I'm motivated. I'm ready to get it done. What about unwanted attention? Sexual advances. Uh oh. I am a lesbian, so I do know that that could create some unwanted attention. 
from some of the other female inmates. I don't worry about that. I can I can squash that pretty quickly or she gonna fall in love, if it's y'all. something that I can can you know manipulate to get intel. Why even bring uh, that up? Or get information for the sheriff, I can absolutely do that. I'm obviously not gonna cross any lines physically, but if one of the female inmates is flirting with me and I can use that to my advantage to get some intel, I, I have no problem doing that. She gonna fall in love, y'all. I'm calling it. Good luck. Good morning, Heather. Nice to see you again. Good to see you again. Feeling Unless you tap out first. Yes, so, Heather, we're looking for great expectations, and I have no doubt that that's what you'll produce. Thank you for giving of your time to help us. Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate it. Good luck. Thank you so much. All right. So you feel confident? Feel good? All right, 30 days. Yes, sir. You can do it. Yeah. All right. If you would, just step right over here to our cuff team. They'll take Absolutely. it from here. Move the parts in front of the band. Put your hands up on the bed. Yes, sir. Start with the legs. Back up to the left. Up your left leg. Can you flip? We're making strong. Walking into 400, a couple people remember me. And I think O'Shea. Everything's coming back to me. It's like, get on, get on your grind. Like, you've been here before, this ain't nothing new. But back to business, I plan on challenging every single CO, every step of the way. First test, I pretty much gonna pick my own cell. <laughs> I'm looking for a cellmate I can live with. I just want somebody <laughs> clean, decent, that I don't have to worry about. I say one I like. There was this old black guy in there. I think he was hey, one of the old man. Like, hey, like, Come on. I was like, man, you can't make that an old man get up top, this and that. I said, well, I guess I ain't going in there then. I'm not only, you know, showing my dominance for the inmates, I'm doing it to get the COs on board, too, to be honest. Once I see that little hesitant, oh, yeah, I'm about to run with it. I ain't doing nothing, you say. The CO was extremely passive. Um, I could have done anything I want to. I go upstairs, look in the cells. They try to find what's got only one person in it. That's what I would do. I see a little white boy come out of his cell, and I'm like, yeah, he, he's, he's definitely doable. You try to shut the door I on him. him. Boom, this is my cell. I said, nah. <laughs> you try to shut the door on him. Man, I'm back. As an inmate, I shouldn't be able to pick my own cell. The reason why that's crazy is because it's this. Say if we got locked up because we got an altercation, now you're putting us in the same room. What you think about to happen? You see what I'm saying? So first test uh, on the officers, they failed. This is my second time going in. Pod boss, that's, that's, that's some phase one shit. This is like my kids' playground in my backyard. I, I can do what I want to do. Y'all trying to see how it is around this place? They all want you to talk. They all want you to snitch. They want everybody around here to snitch that somebody up. Man. Tony. I'm in a day room and I see this white kid who said, Hey, bro, you working with the camera crew? Oh, like, man. I won't play this. Like, I, I could just go up and just smack him. And that yeah, white kid needs to sit his ass down, man. Hey, sir, I can't, I can't hear you speak up. I can't hear you speak up. You got something to say, sir. You disrespect yeah. me, I'm going to put blood in your mouth. Shut, shut up real up. quick. Wouldn't you <laughs> shut up? <laughs> and then all the same gangsters surrounding him who encouraged him enough to even approach me to say that. Now they like, nah, big homie, he may not like that. Now I'm cool, big bro. Who um, dudes, um, his homie's trying to put that battery in his back. Crash dummy. 
That's what they do. They make him a crash dummy. I mean, Austin would never confront me if he didn't have like five, six people uh, telling him what to do. Yeah, he's well, a crash dummy. The, obviously, the oddball, because he's white. The black people, they in his ear, because they ain't got the balls enough to come to me and say, they know better. So keep your mouth shut, and we good. What is this? I'm like, you know, what's going on? Now, um, I'm kind of getting nervous. Where's the keys? Give him one. What are you giving me, uh... The arresting officer wanted me to try to sneak something into the jail, <sighs> uh, which was a four-inch long handcuff key. Oh. I don't know it sounds kind of crazy, know. but a split second decision there is like, I'm taking it. Good. I don't think you'll be able to get it in there. I guess they're going to test the security of. Why are they laughing it's about it? Before. It's just, it's just, it's, it's crazy. We setting that man up. Catch a real charge. Hey, what the fuck? I was worried that if I got caught coming in with that key, that was going to be some uh, like some lockdown time, some solitary confinement time, or a good old fashioned beatdown. Anything else on you, sir? Uh, uh, number this key, key, son. I actually stuck the key in my waistband. Uh, it should be easily uh, felt on any, any type of pat down. So now I'm really getting nervous. Anxiety's really kicking in. Uh, and then we come to the metal detector. That's in your hair. In your beard, man. My heart rate was probably at its highest it's been in a long time. If they find the handcuff key, I'm afraid of catching a real charge. <laughs> Oh. My heart rate was probably at its highest it's been in a long time. If they find the handcuff key, I'm afraid of catching a real charge. I don't think they'll charge you, they'll just take it from you. Uh, I walked to the metal detector and it, it never alerted. I'm halfway home with it. Now I've got a pat-down process to get through. I go in, I take a shower. So I slide into my shoe. Are they about to find that? Yeah. Yep. There it is. Out, they had found the key in my shoe. This right here potentially could be used to escape. We could be used to stab somebody live. And they put me in a holding cell by myself. That's a pretty hot mess. I'm thinking, what have I done? And now I'm worried about what's going to happen next. I don't think a lot. 30 days, half the time, looking for twice the job. It's no turning back. It's no tapping out. It's no giving up. Mark, I want to be straight. I want to be honest with you, okay? It's not going to be easy. You obviously don't know me. Why do they keep on clowning this man? I'm going to do it at all costs. I know I'm going to do a good job for the sheriff. I know I'm going to find things. Damn. Horrific things can happen if the person in charge of the safety and security of the unit is part of the problem. This place is terrible. Uh -oh. As bad as yesterday was, today's 10 times worse, and I didn't think it could get worse. I never thought that I would be embarrassed of my profession as, as much as I am here. She should have not just been fired, she should have been arrested for what she did the other day. Arrested. We got another Miss Williams. Champagne is one of the guys I was watching because he's a ticking time bomb. Oh, if I gotta fight somebody, I hope it ain't this guy. Champagne, he definitely thinks he's big stuff. 
that's fine. But if it was a fight between me and Champagne, I would definitely put Champagne on ice. <laughs> Within hours, we were talking about finding something to get high. I know I'm going to do a good job for Sheriff. I know I'm going to find things. I did think about what are they saying when I'm outside of this room. Wow. She's six days in. I'm Man, they already done called her out. If Angel suspects me, I'm in danger. I already know it's a shank in there. They talking about jumping on her and everything. She ain't going to cut her throat all kind of Right now, this is beyond undercover. Mark seemed extremely nervous. I see he's what's sitting there. there. So he's just like he like he's a recovering addict or something. Yeah, you nervous as crap. Yeah, it's literally all over your face. Oh, here we go. Uh, with the way things are progressing, I'm really scared things might might proceed to a physical level. Won't you do it? You said you weren't gonna go to a physical level. Don't do it. There it goes. What's your plan? What's your plan? Um, honestly, I don't need a plan. Play. They'll bring me the clone. You see how I am in there. I'm a gorilla. I'm a beast. Damn, Tony, you got a train, don't you? Oh, Anything sure. Tony tells Chad to do, Chad does. He a grown man. He make his own decisions. I think Tony is becoming more than just a participant. He's becoming Abner. But he's actually becoming an, uh, 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 a bad guy. Let's see how far we can take it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Do it. Hey, going to the hole. Damn. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this looks even better. What y'all think, man? This looks really good. Oh, my God. Tony going full Abner times 2,000. Damn, I can't wait for next week. Wait, it's not even next week. A couple of days. Old days, new new uh, see, uh can't even talk, y'all. New episode will be on in a couple of days because right now it's Tuesday. So, oh man, what y'all guys think though, man? Y'all think that one dude's gonna tap out? Y'all think the black chick's gonna tap out? Think the white chick is gonna fall in love? I think she is. I think she is, but she might push away. It might be that A and E editing again, hooking us in. Once I get things taken care of on my end, as far as uh, moving and grieving and all that, I will be pushing more videos out weekly, not weekly, daily. I don't know, every other day or something. I have more time to do so, so I will be doing that. It won't be just one video a week or two video a week. I'll be at least three or four videos a week. Do some Beyond Scare Straight, some live PD. Maybe, uh, was that the rookie year? Maybe some of that. Let me know what you guys want to see in the comments, and I will do my best to make that happen. Because I do read the comments. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitch. Follow my social medias. I have Twitter and Instagram. I also have a Discord. Everything is below in the description. I love you guys. And as always, I will see you guys on the next video. Oh, I put on my rubber gloves. I'm good to search them now. Yep, I put on a mask and gloves. Taken care of. <laughs>